Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It's Carland here bringing you another Neverwinter video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be doing a complete walkthrough of the Winter Festival. Uh, as you can see, we are in the Enclave. Uh, one thing I always want to mention is that when there's an event, you always want to come to the Enclave and see if there's an initial quest. Which there is. Uh, you don't want to miss out on the 325 Light of Samaria. Uh, most people will just take out their signposts and go right to the event map. So you want to make sure you do come to the Enclave, get the initial quest. Uh, let's talk about uh, hopping over here first. Let's go over to the Winter Festival map. Now this is going to be a very long video, guys. This is going to be a complete walkthrough for the Winter Festival. There is a magnitude of events during the Winter Festival. Uh, there's three events, but I mean, we have a lot to talk about, so try to bear with me. Uh, hopefully I don't miss anything. If I do, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of stuff to go over with the uh, Winter Festival. So first and foremost, let's jump on our mountain here and get down this mountain here so we don't have that avalanche sound going off the whole time. But let's go to the professions. Uh, the Winter Festival does have a profession. So if we go down here somewhere, there it is, light crafting. And if we go down here to the bottom somewhere, there'll be hire a guy, there he is. Okay, so you wanna hire your first guy. He only takes, you know, a few seconds. Uh, there's a lot of things to do with the profession. Uh, this is how you get like your demonic sled, uh, how to get better f fishing rods and particularly, let's, let's just look at it really quickly. So let's go here. Uh, and level three, I believe is the max. Uh, but yeah, there's lots and lots of rewards, guys. So, uh, this year, which is, I believe is new, is the legendary... Uh, fishing rod. Uh, I think before it only went up to epic uh, But I'm pretty sure I, they didn't have this last year. I'm pretty sure it was only epic last year uh, So yeah, they do have a legendary uh, fishing rod now guys, which is awesome So you definitely want to strive to try to get this quickly as possible uh, and basically you do have to level up your uh, Light crafting to level three uh, and there's multiple ways to do that. Well, you have to do it within here, but you have to like catch fish and get other uh, currencies, uh, like including this one right here. This is one of the currencies here. Uh, the Winter Kill Emblem, which drops from uh, mobs or fishing. Basically, everything's going to be coming from fishing. This whole event, all you're going to be doing is fishing, basically, other than the dailies. Uh, so yeah, get familiar with the uh, professions window. Make sure you're not deleting stuff you need out of your inventory. Uh, but for right now, I believe we are just going to run through this. So let's go over to the main NPC here. Uh, we will finish the initial quest. And then you do have some dailies here. Now, I know this one's in yellow, star stuff. Uh, this is how you're going to get your voucher. Uh, however, this that is a daily. Uh, then we have the celebration. Uh, which is a daily. This is going to be the three events. The Twilight Run, the Ice Fishing, and the Monsters on Ice. And then the Lore, uh, I don't think is going to be a daily. That's just running around and learning about all the activities. And then the Omen of the Stars is the one you want to make sure you're doing every single day. Um, you want to make sure you're doing this every single day for the Star of Fortune. Uh, the Star of Fortune is the one currency you want to get. Shut this guy up, man. Shut up, you little dwarf. Anyway, uh, so what I mean is now there's two different stores here. Actually, there's a few different stores. Now, this one is the uh, parcel store, and you're going to be getting parcels throughout the event. So you can get, you know, your winter cloak and then all your scarves. Uh, now, the scarves are bind on pickup, guys. So I wouldn't, you know, waste your parcels unless you really, really want a scarf. Uh, now the scarf is also not a fashion item, it's a transmute item. It will transmute your neck slot. A lot of people don't like that fact because they want to use their fashion and then have the scarf. But it's not like that. The scarf is an actual transmog. 
and there is multiple different scarves. Uh, and then there is a uh, Starry Winter Cloak as well, which is pretty cool looking. It's like a star flake and it's sort of uh, see-through, not too shabby. Uh, and then if you move down, you know, there is also uh, Transmute Weapons, which are never really any anything too, too cool looking. I never like the weapons. Uh, but yeah, so it's like a Ice Blade for the Warlock. Yeah, no whoop de freaking do Okay, now we have the Riding Horse, which is basically just a skin for your horse if you so choose. Uh, but if you do notice that it is bind on equip, guys, if you do buy this, this will be tradable in the long run. Uh, but yeah, it's just like a white steed. It kind of has a snowy, snowy look to it, but no particle effects or anything it's pretty basic you know i don't think it's worth 3k uh, i'll see how much people are selling them for if i do choose to buy it and then you also have three companions now you're gonna have the fawn the snowy fawn and the ice spirit or the ice sprite yeah it's sprite ice sprite uh once again these are all bind on equip so if you do buy these uh you will be able to sell them Let's move over here to the important NPC. Now, this is going to be your Star of Fortune NPC. Uh, this is the big stuff. So, you're going to get one star a day, like I mentioned. Uh, the event is 14 days, so you will get a total of 14 stars. Uh, now, there is a new throne. Uh, basically, it's just the same throne as the Throne of Boo, except it's all solid ice. I mean, we can look at it, maybe. No, we can't. Okay, we can't preview it. Uh, you can preview it in the collections, if you go to the collections. Uh, but once again, please note, this is Bind on Equip. Uh, so, if you if you have multiple characters, you know, you could pick a few of these up and sell them, you know. I mean, they're probably not going to go for a tremendous amount because, you know, a lot of people do have alts. Uh, but yeah, so once a day you will get one star. So if you, I mean... The Frost Mimic, actually, I'm not sure how you're going to obtain, unless you can get stars another way, but to my knowledge, the event's 14 days long, you get one star a day, uh, 18 stars, I'm not too sure, maybe you can get stars out of uh, boxes or something, I'm assuming, but once again, the Frost Mimic is bind on equipped, they're actually pretty cheap in the marketplace, I think they're like 20k on Xbox, so I mean, I wouldn't be too concerned about this, and then you can get the Winter Sled, uh, a, get an, a gift of some real... Or the spirit of some rail. This is uh, all items for uh, the uh, artifact. Like I said, main focus here is definitely the throne, for sure. Uh, but let's run over here and let's finish all these quests. So come talk to this lady. Uh, this is going to be your Starlight Voucher. And then she does have another quest. It's join a party of other players, celebrate, and, and use yours, which I don't suggest you do i would wait until you have accumulated a good bit of vouchers uh so let's hop over to the zen market and look at those items real quick if you go down to the events uh there are numerous ones so the starlight parcel here is for free uh you will get one of these per day uh and like i said you will want to save those uh, you can buy a 20 pack plus 14 days of uh, free VIP, which is pretty cool actually. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's not a whole month, but you know VIP days do stack, so it's 14 days on whatever you have, and then you also get 20 uh, Starlight parcels. So what's the big deal about Starlight parcels? Well, if you open it up, it's basically like the uh, Saha balls. You know, you open X so many, and it, they stack. Or um, what was the other one? Uh, the Lyrals event, maybe? Or no, the Jubilee. They're like the Jubilee package. You know, so if you open X amount, they accumulate. Uh, and you, if you look at the last tier rewards, uh, after 20 gifts, uh, you can start getting a chance to get highly sought after rewards, uh, which is, you know, a magnitude of stuff. There's a lot of items you can get from this event, from past events. Uh, even after five gifts, uh, opening five gifts, you can get seasonal event rewards, uh, then you can get CTA rewards, and then, like I said, highly sought after rewards. Uh, but yeah, you want to definitely just save these until you have a good bit of them. Uh, and then the same rules apply. You want to be in a group of five. If someone opens one, you get a point. You know, if you open one, you give someone else a point. So if, if you have a group of five, you can, you know, accumulate your 20 remotely quickly. Uh, let's see here what we're going to do. Since we're standing right here, you want to make sure to do your quests. Uh, this one is just about running around getting the lore. Uh, there is three lore pieces, I believe. 
should be one up here. Uh, this is the race guy, which we will be doing. Uh, where is the actual lore? I know it's around here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I made that up. But anyway, if you want to do the race that's in here, we're not going to do that just yet. I want to finish up these other little quests first. Oh, and the last event, or the last vendor, uh, which is new this year. Um, basically, when you're fishing now, you have a chance to get a treasure of Tiamat, uh, a treasure of Lylar Wood, which is, I believe, Char and Dar stuff, uh, a treasure of the North. And a treasure of Thray, which is Dreadring. Uh, treasure of the North is Icewind Dell stuff. But guys, you can buy campaign items. If you still need your Tyranny Boons, uh, you know, like I do, I still need 30 more Lanou's Favor. If I can fish out 300 freaking uh, of these things, I can buy Lanou's Favor. Or if you have other campaigns that you're still working on, this is all campaign currency, guys. So this is, you know, pretty freaking sexy, okay? Um, so yeah, this is definitely a worth look at. This is uh, new this year. So you definitely, I mean, you're going to be fishing non-stop. So if you do accumulate this stuff, yeah. I definitely suggest going for the Lanou's Favor, obviously, if you still need your Tyranny uh, last tier campaign. And it's also good if you do have your alts or whatever. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here's the other lore piece. Okay. And then I'm, I think I'm still missing one lore piece. Uh, but anyway, so let's run over here fairly quickly. Uh, and you want to look in the telescope, which is going to be one of the other daily quests. And you can watch the animation. I will let it go. You can skip the animation if you so choose. Uh, but you'll just look at a constellation. And I believe the constellation actually gives you a buff, too. I could be wrong, but I think it might. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it didn't give us a buff. I don't see it on my thing right there. But anyway, so you talk to this guy. And that's how you get your Star of Fortune. Okay, so that's your daily to get your Star of Fortune. Oh, let's see here. What am I missing? Let's run over here. Let's do the uh, three events, guys, since we're right here. Uh, so this uh, direction over here is going to be the hunting the monsters. I believe you only have to kill like 15 monsters. This is fairly easy. So you just run down here. Uh, I don't think these monsters actually drop anything. Uh, that rank four was probably because of my fae. I don't think that these uh, mobs do actually drop anything. Uh, but some bosses will spawn here eventually, and I do believe they can actually drop something. Alright, so that's all for the quest. Like I said, you only need 15. I'm going to kill a few more. Uh, just to see if they do drop anything, but I'm, if I remember correctly, these these things don't drop anything whatsoever. Yeah, it doesn't appear, so. Alright, so we're going to get out of here. So that's that first quest. Uh, like I said, you want to do your dailies every day. So that one's fairly easy. Let's uh, let's go do the race real quick. That one takes a little bit longer. Okay, now it's popped up. There we go. Alrighty. Now, for the race, you can be mounted. It's up to you. Basically, it's a downhill slope. Uh, you have to hit the checkpoints. You have to drop, jump over stuff, you know. So let's just go through this, see how we do here. 
Like I said, you have to go under the checkpoints. I believe the arrows will give you some, like a speed burst or something, just like a little one, nothing major. You want to kind of stay into them, but the gates are most important. You want to make sure that you guys are getting under the gates. This one's a hard one here. It's a wide turn. Uh, like I said, it is solid ice, so you are going to be having that slipper, slippery effect. <laughs> slipper, I said slipper. Merk, merk. But yeah, the wide turns are pretty rough. I don't think I've missed one yet, actually. There's the second check mark. Uh, you, it's based on time and points. Oops, yeah, I missed that one. Merk, merk. Um... Oh, I missed that one? No, okay, I got that one. So I missed one so far. Uh, but yeah, your rewards are going to be based off how many points you do score, guys. So you want to make sure you are doing it, you know, correctly and you're not just running down here because you're just wasting free loot. Uh, so this one is split. You can only get one of these. Uh, so you're always going to miss one. Uh, so I missed two, technically. Uh, but yeah, the end is right up here, uh, so we didn't do bad. We got, you know, fairly decent score, uh, 440. I think 450 is actually the max you can get. I got 440. So you will end up here on the podium after you have finished it. And step down. Uh, and what are we missing? So we are missing... Uh, so we have to go do some fishing. Fishy, fishy, fishy time, guys. Fishy, fishy. This is what you're going to be doing 90% of the event because you don't have to stop. You can fish all the time. I think I have a pole. Okay, I guess you can't use your SK Thunder pole for this. Because I do have a fishing pole somewhere. Maybe I don't. Oh, you know what? I deleted that fishing pole because I never do that quest anymore. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, you can get a uh, fishing pole. So you will uh, talk to this gentleman here, uh, and then you will have to buy a pole, which we will purchase. Uh, so the contest just started over there, of course it did, uh, for the uh, boss. Anyway, you'll notice some of these have green lights and some of them have blue. Uh, rumor is, is that, oh, that's nice. I just got attacked. All right, well, we'll mow his ass down. Anyway, rumor is, is that if you fish in, you know, a green or a blue one, you're going to get better uh, pulls. So, that's up to you. Uh, but let's see here. We need brown beam for the quest. However, you guys want to make sure that you want to keep every single piece that you pull out of fishing. Because it's going to be used for something. Uh, like I said, you want to make sure you check your professions tab. Uh, and just make sure, you know, like I said, that you're not throwing stuff away that you need. So we're going to just simply finish this. This is pretty much <clears throat> the last thing we have to do. Uh, you can do make different baits, uh, use different hooks, you know, to get rarer drops, rarer pulls. As you can see, I'm getting pretty decent stuff out of the green one. I think there might be a blue one farther down, but... But yeah, this is all stuff that you need for professions to, to advance your profession. So like I said, don't throw anything away. Uh, you can you can fish unlimitedly, by the way. There is no limit. You can literally sit here all day. Uh, the hole will dry up eventually. Uh, there is another green one down here we're going to snake. But the holes will respawn after time. Uh, the more people fishing at a hole, the faster it will be used up. You know, typical fishing stuff. But yeah, this is what you're going to be doing the entire time. Okay, we did finish the quest, so for video purposes, we're not going to sit here and fish all night. <laughs> <clears throat> but we did get some items. We got a bag. Uh, don't think you... Okay, you can open it and see what we got. So we got a light bulb and a golden pearl. 
uh, which okay the golden pearl is treasure can be sold and then we got a light pod which is profession stuff yeah so here's the light pod down here which is profession stuff like I said <clears throat> we got another bag over here let's pop that more light paw okay so we got two treasures out of that your inventory is going to get insanely full with this event guys i mean there's just nothing no way around that <clears throat> but anyway the whole point of you uh fishing non-stop is not only for the professions but you can get your uh parcels this way so if you see here we need to trade three brown bream for one light okay well that's that's not a lot you know and then here's one for 10 black jaws and then 10 uh dirt grace and those will go up i think there's another one over here too yeah the candle fish is the rarest the candle fish is uh the purple fish so if you turn five of those in i, I don't remember the exact numbers from last year but so we'll turn this in we get one light the uh quest is complete and then there is one more quest that you will have to do let's see how much these uh treasure items are worth since we're standing here for funsies <clears throat> oh four silver oh two silver oh baby we're in the money now i guess all right anyway so you will after you finish the daily events and everything <clears throat> you will return to uh the mayor and he will have a few more quests for you to finish out the entire event. I hope you're, I so we will finish this. <clears throat> Far from home. And then the crafts, which we already did. So that one will auto finish. Alright, so uh, this is the last one as far as the event goes. You will run up to the temple. <clears throat> And you talk to this gentleman right here. And he will tell you about how to get your uh, demon sled. This is going to be for the demon sled. So the Flake of Blackhead. <clears throat> if you read it, you know, it shows you how to get your demon racing sled. Uh, it can be found in uh, Monsters on the Ice. Uh, fishing up uh, Sickly Merry Mo. Marimo, uh, skirmishes in the Underdark, uh, Demogorb gone, or Epic Demogorb gone, or Demonic Heroic Encounters to get this uh, Flake of Blackled. So if we finish this, we do get one. So here's your Demon Sled, and it does cost 200 of those currencies. Okay, now this isn't the Demon Sled that we've had before. For whatever reason, this is like a green one. Uh, there is a blue one. I'm not sure... Uh, why this one's green uh, I'll show you in the market uh, about the blue one maybe you could probably upgrade this green one to a blue one via the professions <clears throat> I just simply don't remember uh, this is day one of the event so like I said you guys want to make sure you're checking all your professions and all that happy go lucky stuff uh, uh, the first time you open up a parcel you are going to get your uh, artifact which I will show you in the collections uh, so if we go to the events, let's just show you. Okay, so here's the winter event. Uh, so yeah, see the uh, frozen demon sled is still in the uh, demon event. So I'm, I'm assuming you just are going to eventually change the demon sled into the frozen demon sled via uh, professions, most likely. Uh, here is the beacon. Um, I'll show you the maxed out version of it. Uh, but yeah, this is what you're going to be leveling up during this event. And you do get this for free uh, once you open your first uh, parcel. And then again, here is the Frozen uh, Throne, which is the new item this year. Which I thought you could inspect it, but I guess you can't. <clears throat> but yeah, it's basically just the Throne of Boo, except it's all blue. Uh, let's uh, go up here to Artifacts. Should be, there we go, beacon. So if you look at the beacon at max, it is pretty decent. I mean, it's nothing horrible, but it is decent. Uh, it seems that they did, did they nerf it? Oh, no, because my level's being affected right now. I'm um, level 60. Okay, <clears throat> that should say uh, 6,000 power, I believe, uh, at level 70. Uh, it's only showing 2,000 right now because uh, our level's being affected because we are in the event map. Uh, but yeah, 
So you pop it, 15 seconds, six lanterns fall. Uh, if you catch all six of the lanterns, you're going to get 6,000 power for 30 seconds. Uh, and then it is 1,000 power, 1,000 regen, and 600 stamina guard. So, I mean, it's, it's decent if you can, you know, get all six lanterns. Like, you do have to catch all six lanterns to get the lantern catcher buff. Uh, so, some people like it, some people don't. I mean, I'm going to get it, I'm going to refine it, because I have nothing else to do. Uh, but I believe that is all the events that does cover everything. We've done the race, we've done fishing, we've done the dailies. We've done the event itself. Uh, like I said, you want to log in every single day, do the dailies. If you have alternate characters, you want to log in, do the same. Uh, keep your professions up to date. You know, make sure you're doing your professions. But that's it, guys. That's the Winter Festival. It does last 14 days. Uh, so get to it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions in particular with anything, uh, be sure to ask. Uh, I know this video was a little longer than normal, but, you know, this event is one of those bigger events. You know, it's basically the Christmas event for Neverwinter. Uh, so, I hope you guys have some fun with it. Like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And uh, we'll see you.